Today in Crazy Performance Repair, I am doing a head gasket on this Equinox. Now, this is a 3.5 liter V6. This applies to the 3.1, the 3.4, or no, this is it 3.4 or 3.5? This is 3.5, I believe. It doesn't matter. 3.1, 2.8, which is really old school, uh, 3.4, 3.5, 3.9, and I believe there's another one that it applies to, but basically the GM 60 degree V6s. Now, this particular engine has different length push rods. So, you can see the whole rocker assembly here. I have these two loose. I'm gonna go ahead and just set them aside for now. This motor's kinda dirty, but I'm gonna set them aside for now and I'm gonna pull these guys out just to show you. Ooh, and I see something else I wanna show you too while I'm here. We'll go ahead and pull these out. So if you look, I have them matched up on the bottom there but they are a different length. So obviously, they are different length. Now, one thing you wanna keep your eye out for is particularly this situation. See how it's got like a weird eyeball looking effect? That eyeball effect means that this push rod is junk, it's worn out. It should look like this guy here, well, only shinier because it'll be worn. Actually, I'll grab the other one should look like this guy here. See how it's a nice shiny ball? It doesn't have that eyeball look to it. Now when that happens, it also wipes out the rocker arm. So if I look at this rocker arm here, you can see the rocker arm has a really goofy wear going on there versus this rocker arm, which is nice and shiny and looks smooth. So if you have that situation, be sure to replace the push rod and the rocker arm together. Now, you're going to have to order separate push rod and whatnot. Now, if you need to know which lifter or which rocker goes to which valve, you can do that by, you know, you see this is going that way and this one is going that way. One is exhaust, one is intake. What you do is you go in here and you feel which way the port goes. This port is going that direction so we know this guy is the intake one. So the exhaust one is the one I need a rocker and a push rod for. So now that we know that, we'll get to the actual tech tip. The tech tip for today involves keeping track of these parts here. So we have two boxes and somewhere here I have a permanent marker. Oh, it's in my hand, there we go. We have a permanent marker. What we need to do is we need to take the boxes, we need to throw an F on there. So that's for front. Front of the vehicle is how I'm gonna do it. Now you could, if you wanna do front of the engine, the belt system is technically the front, so you would put it here. But I'm just gonna do front of vehicle on this one. And then when I take these boxes, I'm gonna lay them down on the floor in the same position that I pull them off because this vehicle is gonna be staying here for the time being. So anyway, what you need to do is you need to make yourself a container to put those things in. Now what I like to do is come over here to my toolbox, grab me a Phillips screwdriver because they punch really nice holes. And then I take these boxes and each cylinder head, you can do a separate box for each cylinder head if you like, I don't, but each cylinder head is gonna have six. It's a six cylinder, so we're gonna have six on each head. So we'll go ahead. One, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now that one is going to be for the rocker arms because it's a little wider box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these rocker arms and I'm going to set them in there like a so. And then that will be what keeps track of the position for me if I get every, well, once you have weight in there, once you have both sides done, it won't be an issue. And then this one here, I will also do it to this box. We'll just do two for now because I'm only gonna put these two in there. Holding the, the camera while doing this is a little bit of a challenge, there we go. And then I will be able to keep track of where those things go, where they came from, and where I need to put them after the fact. Now these particular engines, you do have to remove the push rods before you can pull these gaskets out. Uh, other side notes, uh, these engines do have a displacement on demand option, and 
It's not this particular generation of this engine, but the 3.5 and 3.9 of the newer generation do have the option, and they have a really goofy manifold here. My trick still applies to those, I guess. Uh, I have not seen one myself personally. They're very rare for me seeing them in the shop, but they do exist. I have dealt with people with them, and my trick does work on them. So a little side note for the people who have been paying attention to my channel. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to continue on with the head gasket job. Now, when you pull the cylinder heads off on any vehicle you're doing a head gasket job on, be absolutely certain to get the heads gone through. The head gasket fails for a reason. They don't just fail because they're worn out. They wear out because the cylinder heads are not properly machined. Now, GM typically machines their stuff down in Mexico, and the machining process leaves the cylinder head with like a cup shape on it on some of the cylinder heads. Other heads, they just twist or whatever. Or you could have a head gasket go out because of overheating. Now, if it goes out because of overheating, that's going to be something that will warp the head and thus take out the head gasket. So no matter what, you need to mill the surface of the head gasket when doing, or cylinder head when doing a head gasket. Uh, the valves, you don't have to do, but I highly recommend it. I would not pull a cylinder head off without doing the valves, and at very least, test for leaks, but I, I don't even do that. I don't even bother. Just do the cylinder head the proper way, get the valves done, get the head machine, and then put it all back together, properly torquing everything. This one requires new bolts, and there's a couple different bolt designs, but I'm not going to get into that. It's enough for this tech tip for today, and uh, with that, like, share, subscribe, and as always, I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching.